Some red-tailed hawks rescued by APS crews are being released into the wild today. So Danielle is south of the valley with more on that uh, rescue and that release. What a cool story, Danielle. This is such a cool story. So there's four that are going to be released right here this morning. We're going to be uh, releasing them here, but let's talk about the whole experience first and foremost. So Matt, you are an avian expert with APS. That's correct. Yeah, I'm the avian specialist for APS. Okay, and then what exactly uh, happened here with these hawks? Sure, so they had a nest that was located on some of the equipment that was back here that presented a danger to the birds themselves as well as our equipment and it also presented a fire hazard. So as we're getting into the summertime, we want to be sure that we're um, doing everything we can to mitigate that. And that was in the spring that this happened. And were they babies or did they just hatch or what happened? So they were eggs um, that were up there at the time. So we did do the nest move off to the adjacent platform that you can see back there. Um, when we did the move, we backed off. The adults did not return. Um, so we ended up taking the nest down. We took them over to Liberty Wildlife and they uh, raised them to adults where they could be released. And let's talk about that. Laura with Liberty Wildlife. So here are the birds. They're inside the boxes right now. We're going to be releasing them. Just kind of walk me through this process. Yeah, so these birds have been raised. They actually were eggs when they came to Liberty. So we watched them hatch. We have great videos of them hatching and we've raised them um, in our raptor program where adults have raised them as wild hawks. So they haven't been raised by humans. So they are ready to go. They think they're wild hawks. They know what to do. So when the time is right, we're going to open that box and hope that they fly to freedom and give us a great show. And all right, we're going to let you get to that. We're going to talk to Matt while you kind of walk them through uh, exactly what's happening out here. And Matt, can you just tell me about, uh, you know, how often are you guys coming in contact with this type of wildlife? Uh, it's, it's somewhat often. I mean, APS has 35,000 miles of line. We're the largest utility here in Arizona. So with that, we have a lot of poles and, and mm. raptors like high, high, sp uh, high spots on the landscape. So with that, they're going to use our equipment to, to perch on, to nest on, um, and uh, essentially hunt from as well. And if it wasn't for your rescue efforts, I'm sure it would. this would not be an outcome that we're having today. No, that's correct. I mean, with, with our program, you know, we have quite a few eyes on the ground, and our partnership with Liberty Wildlife is so important. We've been partners with them for, for decades, and, and as we go through and, and we help these birds, um, they're able to uh, take care of them and raise them, and, and it's, a, it's a happy ending to a, to a great story. And what happens from here? So we are getting ready right now to see one of the first birds released. What's going to happen? Yeah, so uh, they're going to go ahead and open these boxes, and these uh, red-tailed hawks are going to go ahead and take off, and, and there's one there. Wow. Um, wow. And they're actually going to thrive out here. This is a great ecosystem for them. Uh, the two eggs that were, the multiple eggs that were taken from here, there goes another. Wow. Um, we're actually taken a uh, hundred yards from us. So we're actually bringing them back into the environment they were taken from, and it's important to, to make sure we're keeping that, that balance of the ecosystem here. Matt, thank you so much. Let's pop back over here to Laura. Laura, what happens from here? You said, that, I mean, they are completely wild. They know exactly what they're doing out there. Yeah, so they've got their natural instincts. So they were raised by foster parents that taught them how to be a red-tailed hawk and how to communicate like a red-tailed hawk. So when they're out there now, they're going to go find their new territory. And eventually time's going to come that they're going to find a mate to breed with. And they're going to settle down and create their own nest and have their own babies come next spring. Um, and hopefully they'll be wise enough to either use the nest platform or find a really good sturdy tree. And if it wasn't for these rescue efforts, uh, I was talking to Matt, just this would not be the outcome here. Oh, it's so dangerous. You know, we don't have a lot of tall trees, so the power lines are really the next best option. And that is going to cause a danger for the birds and, of course, an outages for humans where when we're in this heat, you can't have electricity stop. So it's super dangerous. So it's great that we have this program. And APS is the guys are trained to look along the lines and see as soon as nests are starting to get built and mitigate that issue right away. And if it's already advanced too far, then we've got our biologists that are able to come down and work with the team and help in whatever way we can to get these birds safe and keep the people safe. And how it just happened. Was this a success? This was amazing. We had two great flights. We got two more ready to go, um, but they had beautiful flights. They were stretching their wings. They've been in a flight cage, but this is totally different because there's just so much more space for them to explore. So we had beautiful flights as they disappeared out into the trees over here. Their new home. Exactly. Yes, Laura, Matt, everybody here at APS, thank you guys so much. So, yeah, we're going to get ready to watch uh, two more, the last two here, and we're going to have much more on later editions of Fox 10. So, definitely stay tuned. That hey, Danielle, we'll who's the photographer you're working with today? With Brian Acosta. Oh, he's doing an amazing he job. It was yeah. like he was a Nat Geo he, there. He followed that bird. What else is perfect. new? I know. <laughs> So great. Brian's the best. Yes, he you got is. it. <laughs> what a cool story, Daniel. Thank you. We're looking yeah, forward to watching me. the rest of that story a little bit later on on Fox 10. All right. Ty